The current generation of kids are pop cosmopolitan, and they are very interested in the world beyond their borders, but they express it through their consumption of, of games, of comics, of anime, of action films. They become connoisseurs of various global cinema traditions, but it isn't Bergman and Truffaut that they're consuming. It's games that are their gateway into those other worlds. Video games flow fluidly between Japan and the United States, right? We usually talk about globalization as American media spreads around the world and corrupts everyone else's culture and, and so forth. This is a case where our children's culture is to a large degree shaped by fantasies from Asia. Pokemon and Mario Brothers are probably better known characters in the United States than the characters of Hans Christian Andersen and the Brothers Grimm. And we've displaced the European fairy tale tradition with the Japanese anime tradition. This is going on at a time when American culture is becoming more and more parochial. Our foreign policy is becoming even more unilateral in the way in which it approaches the world, but our kids are engaging with media from other parts of the world and are recognizing that as representing different cultural traditions. And as they're getting older, they're going to seek out more information about those cultures around the world and engaging with fans and consumers there. Games are a gateway into a global culture.